Hello guys, welcome back to another video on She Plays here, and today we're doing another horrible video with amazing stupid ideas from you guys. You guys are what power my suffering. Thank you so much. Subscribe. But, um, pretty much today we're gonna see what happens if World War Two starts with Germany just invading France. Cause screw everything over here, like resources and stuff. No, France. Just want France and just want for revenge. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, Germany declares war on France after remilitarizing the Rhine and blah, 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 which is kind of a dumb idea. Why don't you go take your Austria and check this back in this first before that, you know? But, yeah. But, you see, um, Germany just, it's just, there's one problem. Going through Belgium and Luxembourg, which then they have to go through war with the British Empire, which then sucks because that just, just like, bruh, bruh. Then Poland might want to do something silly too, who knows. So what they do is negotiate with Spain, and Spain decides, let's do this. So, um, yeah, you know what's going to happen now. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I've done. It's horrible. I hate it. I love it. I don't know, man. Thought it looked too chaotic for me. Uh, so, Germany invades Belgium and Luxembourg. UK declares war, Spain declares war, World War II. Yeah, Spain's here. Also, I'm not even using recolor. But, oh, wait, no, I am. I just have the tolerance. Oh, God. So, yeah, very chaotic indeed. And Germany makes a first push, trying to go around the Maginot line, you know. While the UK starts sending troops. Meanwhile, in Spain, Whoa, look at that. Spanish troops are crossing the border. Yeah, chaotic, as always. It's my specialty. But, you see, this comes at a cost. Uh, the Frenchies are not happy at all, and just... They take out Spanish, um, Sahara, because, yeah. They also start invading their, their Moroccan land, because, yeah. So, the Spanish are able to keep their foothold in Africa right here, though. But doesn't mean they're going to be able to do it forever. Meanwhile, Italy sees this as an opportunity. Italy moment, yo. Yeah, so now Italy's in the war. And of course, they cut falls really fast, duh. And now the French are kind of uh, <coughs> screwed. Because they're doing a three-front war. Like, yeah, they have the British Empire backing them. But it's still kind of hard to send supplies and stuff across the channel. It takes a bit. Okay, that part was unrealistic. Um, but yeah. So, so pretty much now, it's just a matter of time till France falls. Like Germany already, bro. But now we got like, you know, we got Spain, we got Italy, and they all start, but they all start attacking from all sides and just not looking good for France, you know. And soon the French army is just at the brink of collapse from this as the Spanish even retake their land here because they're that cool. Also, what the heck? What, what in the world? This tolerance thing. Show no tolerance, no mercy. Okay, it's just hard to find the perfect tolerance, bro. And yeah, they retake their land and not only do they retake their land, they even start to go push in and take more land because Spanish Empire. Yeah, Spanish want a new empire, I guess. I don't know. But, um, now the French are really screwed with Italian landings over here. Also, Malta Falls, even though it's, like, super important, it would be hard. Well, it's just, it's just, who cares about realism? Yeah. And, yeah, Tunis Falls and stuff. And France still hasn't lost Paris yet. 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 Mm -hmm. France is about to lose Paris. The Germans. Fun fact. France lost Paris. At this point, France just doesn't stand a chance anymore. They never stood a chance. And they never will. And they just um, surrender. So does Belgium. So yeah, let's go look at what. Germany does with France, Belgium, and Luxembourg. LOL. So as you see, um, you the UK, the the, the British, they're kind of screwed because now literally most of Western Europe is under the axis. Yeah, this really sucks for them, doesn't it? Yeah. 
so pretty much Germany gets this, part France, Southern France. Frenchy France is kind of split up with Italy and Spain. Colonial Empire, yo. Then there's a new Richie France, like puppet, you know, yo. But yeah, pretty cool if I say so myself. The British are still here though. They're gonna die soon. But yeah, now you see Germany has ideas. First off, screw the Netherlands. Let's take the Netherlands. Oh, that's the wrong color. They're not Jordan, Germany, idiot. But next off, Poland. Okay, maybe not right now though. But we all know what's going to happen to Poland. Poland is screwed. So is the Netherlands. But, uh, yeah. So Germany starts an invasion of Netherlands, and I really don't know what you expected. They didn't stand a chance. They didn't. Of course they're gonna fall to Germany, bro. It's the Netherlands, bro. They, they don't stand a chance, bro. So yeah, there goes the Netherlands. Um, and Austria, uh... Austria did not stand a chance. And they did want Austria because Roman Empire, but still, what, like, cry about it, Italy? Still, yeah, you can just switch sides later, yo. Maybe you can get some Austria, who cares? But, um, yeah, now, what Eastern Europe, I did not say Western Europe, I don't know what you're talking about. Eastern Europe, I keep on trying to say West, but Eastern Europe is <laughs> screwed. Because first off, the Baltics, we know what happens here. And yeah, so Soviets and Germany split it. Yeah, I always fail to get that part of Prussia painted in. Because I'm dumb. Okay, but um, yeah, and Germany annexes Danzig. Poland is pissed. And so Poland, the UK, yeah, they come to agreement. Like, Poland's like, this is a genius idea. And meanwhile, Germany declares war on Czechoslovakia. And you see, Italy invades Albania. Heh, <laughs> like what could possibly go wrong? So Germany, but so Germany just starts doing that. It, Czechia just doesn't stand a chance, you know, it just doesn't, it falls quickly. But they don't surrender because they are occupied by Poland. Actually, they do surrender, but who cares? And Germany takes Danzig. At this time, Czechoslovakia surrender. Yet German troops are not quick enough to take it, so Poland does. Yo. So, um, pretty much, yeah, Poland is good. Major city taken, you know. Pretty good in, um, you know, distraction for the British. Oh, wait, wait, guys, we forgot about something. Albania. Duh. Okay, well, the Italians annex Albania, what do they do next? Yo! So, the Albanians invade the Greece. At first, the Albanians, I mean, I mean the Italians, not the Albanians, stupid, why would they need Greece? But the Italians, they make smaller advancements, taking this little island. Advancing down the coast slowly and then they get wrecked because they are stupid. They don't know how to do anything and they get wrecked. Good job, Italia. <laughs> so, uh, Germany, as always, just gets the bro gang together. Yeah. So the, the bro gang are like, yo, let's go help Italy. And let's, most importantly, just do this so we can get land. Yo. And... As always, Yugoslavia declines it up. So yeah, you can you just see Yugoslavia is so happy right now. Yeah, but oh uh, yeah. So pretty much in <coughs> simplified terms, here's how it goes. So wait, though I screwed up. I was supposed to be Okay, but well, pretty much Germany and Italy they invade from the north, so does Hungary, and it's pretty much an all front war. Serbia's screwed, so Bulgaria is just really good at invading too, and also takes that part of Greece. But Bulgaria is really good at invading, you know, like really, really good. And then Buc no, not Bucharest, Bucharest is in Romania. Why did I say Bucharest? No, 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 no. 
<laughs> oh my god. But um pretty much yeah, it was like he starts to um fall, you know, so Yego is taken. Alright, we yeah, just a lot more cities are taken and stuff just they just get destroyed and the last holdout is over here, which is taken by Italy over here now. Just yeah, they don't stand a chance. Yeah. Just ugh. Meanwhile in um Greece you can already tell the bad stuff that's about to happen to them. Oh boy, are they gonna regret fighting back? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, pretty much uh, Greece um dies. Dies, bro. Dies. Just get rid of Greece. Make them not exist. Just don't make them exist anymore. But yeah, there goes Greece. And you can t just yeah, let's go look at the Balkan Peace Treaty thingy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh -hoo. Yo, this is so cursed as always. By the way, with Syria, I'm I, I'm sorry I forgot it, guys. I'm sorry. And I know I should give him part of it to Turkey right here, but I don't care. So. So, 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 um, Poland, we haven't been talking about Poland lately, because we already know what happens to Poland, they die, so Poland is just getting wrecked right now, but then all of a sudden, not even part of the treaty, they don't even, Russia and Germany don't even have this treaty, um, something silly happens, and you know what it is, oh boy, so, um, Poland gets utterly deleted out of existence at this point now, just, yeah, I don't know what you expected. Um, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> what? <laughs> Poland is just not having a good day right now. Not at all. So, Poland gets deleted out of existence. Cool, cool, cool. And rush up the sweet Russia just helps. So, yeah, let's go look at Poland's peace tree. I'm surprised it lasted that sweet long. Now, um, Europe is really just dominated by now, and yes, there's not gonna be a Russia finish war because yeah, yeah. But something the UK does is get Portugal on their side. Wait, that's wrong. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. But they get Portugal on their side, bruh. They get Portugal on their side. It's supposed to be the other way around, my colors. And are we doing so? Denmark is. not no, the way the color film. Denmark is invaded. Norway is invaded. Yeah, you ready for the next big old invasion, yo? Yo. So pretty much, uh, Denmark falls in. Let's look at, guys, how many hours should I have it be? Five, three, two, one. Bruh. Nothing happened at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Colors. This is the color corner. I have it in every video that I'm doing here because color. Yo, but um, the German state. Wait, my brush size X. Okay, so German state raid Denmark and Denmark falls in six minutes. There we go, perfect. You can literally just like if you like you just fall asleep and wake up. Oh look, a country doesn't exist anymore. What? But um, at this point Oslo is at this point Oslo is taken. And the Germans do multiple landings here, as they, the British Navy can't do much here. And that, and now the leader of the UK, the Prime Minister, is replaced with Winston Churchill, because the other dude resigns. I should say, did that resign in France, yeah. So, um, that ain't good. And that, since Denmark surrendered, um, what the heck, yo, we go. Yo. Cool, right? Yeah, let's look at the piece. So, um, yeah. There goes Denmark, Norway. But now it's time for the bigger wide scale war. Since Portugal's like really British backed right here, it takes a bit, um, yeah. But still, you know Portugal's screwed, but you wanna know what would really annoy the access? If Turkey joined in. Bruh! If Turkey joined in. Can you do this game with the right color? Yup, no. Nah. Okay, let me fix this. Ta da! I fixed it. Yo! I fixed it. So, Turkey joins in the war because they still have a great for Bulgaria, I guess. And Greece exists. Not anymore, but they want the land that was Greece. Um, yeah. 
which is how it is. So, Turkey uh, does a surprise attack on Bulgaria. Head up the coast really well with their navy. Good job, Bob. And also here, so Bulgaria gets devastated at first. And they take a lot of Greek islands. This is amazing for the allies because, you know, big surprise, Germany, haha. But meanwhile, something happens. Wah, 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 wah. Just surprise attack Italy. Take a huge city over here. Pretty much securing most of the desert here. That really pissed off Italy. Because most of um, Libya is gone now. Yeah. Meanwhile, Crete falls. Yeah. But this is just kind of boring stuff about of what's about to happen. Meanwhile, Portugal is just going to have a slow death for now. But they're being able to hold out because of the British Navy. But Libsyn is being really close to falling right now. And they get split in two, haha, <laughs> nerds. But, um, North part of Portugal is taking over. And right now it's just Libsyn right now, which is encircled ish, I guess. I guess they're encircled before, but still. But, um, they are able to kind of just stay there, I guess. Also, I don't know why I didn't have those islands painted earlier. Yeah. But it's just a whole Mediterranean war right now. But one of something that annoys Russia. That part of Romania. Yes, I did make like World War One borders for some reason. Don't talk about it. But, 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 they still want that part of Romania. It would make them so happy. And yeah, they don't really like Turkey, but they'd rather just, you know, they want that part of Romania. So, guess who's declaring war in Germany? Ha! I love Unreal. So yeah, that's just great. Yeah, Russia's at the war. And see, Russia is able to mobilize first, not be stupid and just sit there while the Germans take their all their land. So, uh, so pretty much, this is like a big blow to Germany as they start taking like a lot of land here. Konigsberg's kind of in trouble now. And they just kind of, yeah, Germany's screwed up. Just thinking Russia's just gonna be chill not even doing anything with them like lying to them that they're gonna be bros when in rally they're not but what do you think that's gonna happen and Romania starts to get wrecked and yeah like there's mountains that exist but still yeah and the Turkish and the Soviets meet up oh boy now huge armies start ravaging across and this means Portugal is safe why am I doing the U.S. anthem by saying Portugal is saved? Dude, am I going crazy? But, um, yeah, Portugal is saved. That's cool. But, one of something that happened I haven't told you yet. They're at war with the USA because Japan exists. And they bombed that city harbor that's named after pearls. So, yeah. This is not good because there are now thousands and thousands and thousands of American troops in the UK. And fun fact, with the liberation of Portugal now comes the conquest of Spain. Oh, Spain, you stupid. And, um, yeah. And pretty much, these are not Portuguese troops. These are thousands of British and American troops. And now they can have the access to the Mediterranean. But yeah, and now they kind of start taking the coast of Spain here and Fitchy France and stuff because they need to go get the to Italy. And this this just really, really, really sucks because now they have a big chunk of the Mediterranean power here. I mean, like crazy big chunk, but that's like still thousands and thousands of square kilometer. But yeah, yo guys, screw you Americans. I say kilometer. Yeah, um, pretty much, you know what's gonna happen next? They land in Tunisia, and they land in Sicily. And, just, yeah. They also take most of the coast of Algeria, by the way. Wow. Because of this, they, the guys in Libya can also expand over here. And by the way, reconquest of Malta, yo. Yo. But yeah, at this point, you know what's gonna happen to the Axis. Like, they're just screwed. And it's totally not me being biased. I don't know what I'm talking about. Normandy. Normandy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Also, there's small landings in over here. But 
it's gonna be a wild toy. It's always taking both. There's like forts everywhere. It's annoying, bro. Imagine being in Rise of Nations and being annoying and making forts everywhere. Haha. <laughs> Doesn't sound anything like I would do than declaring war on the USA and see how long I last. <laughs> but, um, Athens is recaptured, so that's cool. At this point, the Axis is starting to fall apart. And Russia isn't even devastated. In fact, they're doing amazing. This is, might just be a communist-dominated world, sadly. So I don't think you can say, well, the good guys always win, no. Look at Soviet Russia. Yeah, the Russians, they start to really do some stuff. As the Germans are kind of dying right now. As all of France is being liberated. Yeah. And landing's on the southern coast. As Spain, it, they lose many major cities and lose Gallica as well. Or, yeah, or Galicia, or however you say it. <laughs> I don't know. There's Gallica over here and Gallica over there. Which is which? I think there's like, when you say Galicia or whatever. I need to stop talking about that. I need to talk about important stuff. Like what? I don't know. But at this point, <laughs> there goes the axis. Spain does something. They surrender. And as Italy starts to fall apart, they don't surrender. What? They don't surrender. Oh, there goes Corsica, by the way. Wonder what they do instead. They switch sides, duh. So, yeah, Italy switch sides. Now that Italy switch sides, the um, axes are really screwed. Yes, I know I have to make this stupidly comedic. Yeah. So, Vichy France is not Vichy France anymore. They're dead France. Or oh, they're not even France. They're just small. They're literally Aquitania or whatever, however you say it. Um, yeah. Germany loses pretty much all of France. And... Bulgaria is dead. It surrenders. Romania surrenders. Hungary surrenders. The puppet just collapses. Um... Alps, who cares about that? And oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, Denmark falls, Norway's the last because it's Norway. So, yeah, the axis, ax, not a, what the heck is axis? Oh, yeah, there's also the desert. Who cares about that? They surrender. Let's go see what the peace treaty is. Yo, oh my god, what have I done? Isn't it beautiful? I hate it. <laughs> By the way, Liechtenstein is huge now, though. It's actually really small, but still, that's Liechtenstein. Wow, it's like 10 times the size, maybe like 15 or 20. So, let's should get sold historical lands, because that's kind of what they wanted before. Fix that part in Romania, sorry. Um, they get a puppet over here, and they kind of puppet a lot of the Balkans here. But it's really nice. I, I, I think like a good job. It's hideous. You got a new Spain, a different Spain. The British own that now. The French got huge, like huge, bro. Um, Turkey got Syria and Cyprus, some islands, and part of Bulgaria and Greece. Um, so Portugal got Galicia, Galicia, Gallica. I don't know how you say it because it's mainly Portuguese. It's kind of like a Gal Galician, however, you, whatever it's called. Um, it's pretty much a dialect of Portuguese. French also, France also got some land, so did Italy, but they also lost their colonial empire. But they also got some lands here, though. They also lost, um, Trieste. Sucks, I know, right? Sucks to suck. But yeah. At least they got some random about how, um, lands in the Alps. But yeah. There's a new uh, West Germany, too. Yeah. Belgium and Netherlands got them some land. The French got the Star Lands. Yeah. Decent. So yeah, um, also I'll sh let me show you what um, like an alliance puppet map like, you know, NATO Warsaw Pact, you know, I'll show that too. So here's kind of the alliance player map, uh, it's also hideous, but they are the whole Mediterranean. Also, uh, wait, 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 oh no, wait, that's not supposed to be there, oh no, oh no, and that's also not colored in yet, oh no, I gotta fix it, okay, nothing happened, but yeah, um, Another amazing, horrible, great, disgusting idea video. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.